welcome back to a rain in Japan. Day two, day two of driving, hopefully. S15 is good to go, J2X, the diff needs sorted. Uh, unfortunately, I had a wee bit of issues with the, the diff didn't come with bearings, but um, the good thing is they had bearings. Mm, also bad news that only one was the correct bearing for this diff. We got some overnight parts in Japan, not too from Japan, but uh, the diff bearings should be here today and then we'll throw it in. Hopefully, during the rainy blue. And then once it's uh, in tomorrow, then we can go back to driving and it'd be bloody lovely. But for now, we have the S15 and it's feeling great with those new stock length lower arms from the Destroyer die. It's perfect. Right, let's go get some food and you get some medicine for Momo because she's also got what I had, which is not ideal. So I think she'll be having a day in bed, unfortunately. Yep, just got to the track, as you can see, it is raining heavily, this big puddle there, quite a large one, and it falls all the way around. We also have a stream running through the pits, blocked by the hammer, that's uh, like this one. And I still have my car up on axle stands because I need to fit a diff, and it's a bit wetter than I expected. The target was that the diff should have been finished yesterday. The uh, problem that we had was... The bearings that I mentioned in the previous video. So they should arrive today, she'll be sorted. We have a few things to do in the meantime. Put tires on the front to ease so they can go on the car and have nice good steers. Oh bloody big crack again. Found by this fucker. Made by that fucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh that was wasting then. Yeah for by me. Gotta be fixed by him. Beautiful cutting into OGTs. They've had a few welds now though. Jesus. Did you suck at driving? Yeah, well I just hit everything. Sure do. It's a bloody miserable day, but we got the T. The other one's getting welded by Jono. And uh, we got some 245s. For a front day. So, we'll pop these on. All the welds, Jesus. Definitely a no rush to drive today. Well. I was just about to take the 15 out for a couple laps, and I noticed that, uh, or I thought to myself, I should probably check the tires because this camera has a wee bit of uh, camber. Uh, Toge, of course, slicked them off. I don't really have any other tires that I would like to go out here because they were KR28As, the semi slick, and now we're going to chuck on. There's the Stinos that are meant for the front of this thing and get a few laps. Hopefully we have enough grip and feel comfortable enough. She looks mean as hell with the 245 semis on the back. Obviously I need a spacer if I want it to be lovely, but... Uh, it's going well. What a day for the ducks. So yeah, as always, steering wheel cover off. Luckily this time I remember to bring my gloves. Oh, upside down. So hopefully I don't get this thing all yucky. Not got the cleanest jeans on for the blue seat, but uh, can't really stay clean when you're lying around in this mess. Take it for a couple laps. Same slicks in the rear and the wet. It should be lovely, hopefully. Actually, I hate driving in gloves, but I need to keep the steering wheel clean and it's good to practice because G1, you must wear gloves. And uh, it's always a bit of a it takes me a wee bit of time to get used to them.
thing. We'll go to lunch now. Especially now because I can't drive a cool street car in Switzerland. Oh, it's bumpy as hell. It's always nice to drive in S15 followed by a JZ or following a JZX. Going to lunch. But this road is hella bumpy. Oh, and I need a belt. And I need to fix that belt squeak. Usually the track is packed already because the gates are open. But uh, due to the weather, everybody's, I guess, having a, a wee lie in. This car lasted, I think, one day. And they made a lovely, uh, maybe not so end, but a bit of a hit on the school course. Everything ripped out. I will try and get the video, but it's quite a strange crash. Fwah. See ya. That's what happens uh, if you don't take it easy on school. It's not uh, so forgiving. So my GoPro died. Luckily, I have Momo's. The unfortunate thing is she's sick and she's still back at the hotel. We're hoping that she's all feeling all better for tomorrow for the G1 practice day. But yeah, hopefully the camera's at the right angle. strange I never have the issue where I transition and then go down to second thing in the handbrake now I start panicking and pulling the handbrake before I shift down you got that bad habit
first session of the day so we'll take it a few laps we just got some fuel ready for tomorrow diff is not ready yet so hopefully we can get it later hopefully we can get the diff later and then we can put it in tonight if not we'll be driving this tomorrow weather was horrible but at the end of the day drifting at the end of the day the drifting was pretty good got the hang of the 15 in the end kind of i think but it was at least fun um played danger gap a couple times but uh done some tandems had a bit of fun had some fun with puffin from team team and from austin a guy from the uk so it's nice to get back out there ideally i don't want to be tandeming the s15 too much longer because uh, i'm getting a bit greedy and i get to the itch I'm getting the itch to do some door rubbing and get really close so hopefully the diff is done tomorrow but that will be another day uh if not uh, i will be driving the s15 on the g1 gp practice day and for now that'll be it thank you very much for watching bye bye